Hi, welcome to Fairfax Facts Friday. Today I want to talk to you about John Scott Fairfax, who was the first uh, prominent landowner of Arthur Dale's land, uh, way before Richard Arthur and the resettlement administration and all that. Fairfax was born to uh, William Fairfax Sr. and Elizabeth Buckner Fairfax. Uh, these were two prominent uh, statespeople and wealthy landowners. They also owned many enslaved people on their property as well. Fairfax was wealthy from the beginning, um, and he had a lot of uh, nice necessities and knew a lot of uh, high-class people, uh, one of which was uh, young George Washington, who uh, became a close family friend of the Fairfaxes, um, often visited for fox hunts, wedding celebrations, and things like that. So he was a, he was a frequent guest of Belvoir Plantation and grew up knowing John Fairfax as well. So while young John Fairfax is growing up on Belvoir Estate, um, he's offered a position as the overseer to Mount Vernon's farm uh, by George Washington himself. Uh, so he moves out there and begins his six year stint as the overseer to that plantation. Um, and then after six years, George Washington says to him, quote, uh, go west and grow up with the country. So he takes that to heart and uh, in 1790 uh, moves out here and purchases some land from Philip Doggridge um, in what was then all Mon County, but now Preston County. Um, and so that's how he sort of began, began his stint out here. And we'll talk more about him next week. Thanks.